Hello, everybody. I'm back again. What do you know? Old Starving Electrician. Yes, indeed. So what we're going to do today is wire fill. How many wires can go into a box? That's what you clicked on. That's what you're going to get. By box, I just mean our, the residential plastic boxes. So that's all that we're going to get. We're going to stay basic today. There's other, uh, there's a lot of other stuff to this, but I'm going to give you the basics. Just to answer that question, in case you was always wondering when you're wiring your house or a dish, whatever you have. Okay. And also stay tuned uh, after I'm done explaining. This is going to go really quick. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what we're trying to do and what, what we're, why we're doing this here today. So, all right. So in, get started. In every box, it has, uh, it's, it's printed in the inside of here. Um, how many cubic inches this box is. This one in particular, they, they come bigger, but this is a basic plastic residential box. It comes 18 cubic inches. That's how big or how many wires can go in there. That's how they base it on. So, and I'll show you. Here we go. Now, let's just say this is a 14-2. That's that white wire. That's the one that you that goes on your 15 amp breaker. Okay. Each you've got a black, a white, and a ground in each one. Okay. Let's say that's 12-2. That's a little heavier gauge that goes in your kitchen or 20 amp circuit. Okay. And uh, each one of these wires, it's got a black, white, and a ground. Now, for the 14 two, number 14 gauge wire, each wire is rated at two cubic inches, okay? The black wire is two, the white wire is two. We'll talk about the grounds here in a second. Okay, now the 12 two, they're a little bigger, so they're gonna take up more volume, right? So they're two and a quarter inches a piece. Two and a quarter, two and a quarter. I'm talking about the grounds yet. We're going to call this one a 14-3. It's got a black, a red, a white, and a ground. Two, four, six. Okay? With the grounds, they all count as one, regardless of how many there are in there. They all tie together. They're not current carrying conductors. So that's why they're only counted as one. That's just how they do it. So we've got two, four. Those are two cubic inches, two and a quarter, six, eight and a half, 10, 12, 14 and a half, plus the grounds, 15 and a half, okay? A switch or plug is a two. That's 17 and a half. So we're right underneath it. It's as simple as that for wire fill. I have a, uh, excuse me, I have a three gang switch box. It, it, they're all printed inside there. You have to know what the cubic inches are, or your volume of your box. So they, they come printed on there. It's as simple as this. There's other uh, applications. If you've got steel boxes, how shallow they are, uh, inside, outside, there's all kinds of different applications. But this is it, the quick and dirty of wire fill. And it's as simple as that. For me, it's a matter of when I wire, a, when I wire one of these boxes, I, uh, I only put two in. I try to only put two hits. I don't even want to put three in there. It's just, it's a matter of what a pain in the ass it is. You have six inches of wire out here. Then you got the plug or the switch. You got to fold the wire and then stuff it in there. Well, let's say the, the volume's enough, is good enough in the box to have four raw mixes in here. Including that, you got four wires out here. Then you got to cram them all in, stuff them in. And the chances of them maybe touching one of the terminals on the, uh, side of the plug it's just it's a pain in the ass especially you don't even want to uh terminate those wires and wire nut them down stuff like that there's too much in there so plus the whole idea is so it doesn't get hot that's why they tell you how many wires can go in a box to prevent from it getting overheated and catching on fire that's it as simple as that now if you like the video click uh like click share all that sort of good stuff. Thank you for all the support from all the you know, people who have subscribed so far. Um, we are, uh, there's something I wanted to touch on about the veterans program because you'll see it in all the other videos or a lot of the other videos that we're trying to train uh, veterans. It's been a tough road. We, you know, we've been getting a lot of response from veterans. How do I get into the program? Well, the program's very, very small it's because so am I. It's a one-man show. <laughs> Not exactly small, but you get what I'm saying. The, the program itself isn't large, and I've had a couple of veterans, and then I 
pass them on to other electrical contractors. That's the whole idea. It's a, it's a earn as you learn job share program. So I give it to another electrical contractor, or I'm sorry, the veteran to another electrical contractor, and they can use them as long as they, as they need them permanently or what have you, and then they pass them on if they can't use them permanently to another electrical contractor, so forth and so on. Well, the problem is it's just me and then my small projects. I've had guys and I've had them for months or what have you, but I can't exactly give them the work for years. I, I will, if I have somebody, I want to be able to promise them that they can feed their family. So the program has to grow, but uh, I simply need help to grow it. And I just don't have that help right now. Um, need to get all the veterans together, all the pertinents, plug it in, uh, get all the contractors on board and plug that in. And then as they need uh, veterans uh, at various skill levels, what they've been trained at, they call us or we call them, hey, we've got two guys over here. One guy's got one year experience. The other guy's got three, what have you. And so they can log their time. And the whole idea is to have no break in service for the veterans. And then this way they can take their uh, journeyman's exam when they have the, the appropriate amount of hours. We also are providing the um, online, uh, it's an accredited uh, apprenticeship course along with tools and boots. This is, uh, we've yet to ask for any money. We've yet to collect any money. It's all been coming out of my pocket to do this. It's becoming, um, there's a big need for it and it's bigger than I am. So um, I'm just right now, we're trying to get more people involved and um, it's a tough way to go. It's, it's, it's something we want to do. It's good hearted, but uh, this is uh, why we're asking for the shares and the likes and what whatnot so people can uh, bring awareness to it. And anybody with some good ideas want to come on board or something or other, I'm, I'm welcome to the ideas. So with that said, that's how the Earn As You Learn program uh, works. That's at electriccityinc.org. And um, so, yeah, any ideas? Because we've got the live show coming soon. Uh, the live show so I can answer questions online or as you're asking them. I can always go back and answer them to you personally, but I'd rather everybody everybody be able to see and comment on it. I'm sure I'll get all the wise asses and, uh, you know, talk about how fat I am, shit like that. But, you know, I don't, obviously I don't give a shit. So here it is. Uh, get a little gritty. It's going to be fun. You're going to learn something. We're going to curse a little bit. There's going to be, you know, fuck, shit, dick, pussy assholes. There's going to be all kinds of stuff. So. Um, yeah, a little R-rated, but it's going to be fun. That's the whole idea. I want to do something fun. I'm semi-retiring. I don't have the time on the jobs anymore. Um, I'm not taking on any new work, uh, so I can't show those examples. All I can do is whatever's on the chalkboard. So if you give me your ideas, uh, maybe I'll put it up there, and then we'll talk about what you uh, what you want or what you want to know, rather. Um, so that, and I want that, and I'm challenging everybody to um, – Let's see your taco pics. Let's see what you got. Put them on the Facebook page. Let me see your videos. I want to see your tacos and beer, man. I mean, people are talking about some righteous places and taco trucks and stuff like that. I see a lot of stuff on Facebook and all these different taco uh, sites or what have you. I, know, I want I want to see your tacos. So, anyways, I don't have any tacos with me right now. I'm gonna go get some. Uh, I'm starving. You probably hear my fucking stomach growling through the uh, microphone, but. What are you going to do? But thank you all for watching. Uh, this is a new uh, thing, this computer I'm doing. I'm doing it with a computer instead of my phone. So as anybody knows, I'm not real, real bright with this, and uh, I'm just getting the hang of it. So bear with me, and stay tuned. Like, share, and the rest of the good shit. And I'm going to hit end stream. Yes, I do want to end stream. Take care. <laughs>